welcome. No, I haven't gone mad. Little story before I attempt to turn this salami or saucy sauce, because it's a French salami. I was down at my daughter-in-law's and son's yesterday meeting our new grandson for the first time and Mary Lou let us know that she had had a piece of saucy sauce, salami, in the fridge for about six months and while she was pregnant she didn't fancy eating it. Well it's come out as solid as a rock, it's like a little mini baseball bat. So jokingly my son said you could turn that and I thought let's have a bash. I mean far better turners than I have attempted things like marrows and parsnips, onions, cauliflowers and of course pumpkins. Well I don't think anybody's turned a salami so we're going to have a bash. I don't know what's going to come out of it. It'll possibly just be a splodge but if we can make something it'll be nice but I don't think so. But whatever happens I'm going to put the video up and hopefully you'll have a laugh. Sharp tools face protection, shan't be wearing any respiratory protection because I don't think there's too much dust going to come off this, just a lot of fat. Okay, let's get on with the turning. So I'm going to be turning about 1700 revs. Let's just see what happens. Trying to get it round first. Rub that bevel. Nice light touch. I was hoping to keep the bark on, or the skin I should say, but I don't think that's going to be it's absolutely rock hard, but I'm sure as it gets thinner it will become less stable. I'll tell you what, it smells nice. Well lubricated. I'm not sure what finish I'm going to put on here. Right. Hmm. Okay, it's still holding up. wonder if I can turn turn a goblet and maybe just drill out the top bit. Mm. But then I'm going to have to do the foot first before I start because I'm going to be Let's see. Some more. The thinness I can go to, I think. I'll tell you what, we'll go back to the Chinese design, that might work. safely add turning saucisson or French salami uh, to the, my long list of failures. Um, it just, the integrity of the blank just was not up to going to a thinner stem. I mean I didn't get very thin as it happened but I did get a little bit of a shape to the goblet bowl there. Uh, but nevertheless it was good fun. It is, it is hard but there was a fault in that part of the blank 
big lump of fat, so it just gave way. The integrity was compromised, I'm afraid. Um, I can't find the other bit. I don't know where it is. Uh, well, I do find it. If the mice don't eat it, I'll have it at some later stage. But uh, I'm going to need a... Uh, I think I'll have to cut it up on the bandsaw, because it is rock hard. Um, good bit of fun, just as a joke. I am covered in bits of salami, as is the lathe. It won't go rusty, but it'll certainly get the banjo going up and down nice and smoothly, no doubt, with all that fat on there. Anyway, as I say, thank you very much indeed for watching. Uh, next video, hopefully, will be a turning video. And uh, let's hope it comes out a bit better than this did. But thanks very much indeed for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.